Hey, this is Mr. Buffington. We are subtracting negatives today. That's our pre-algebra lesson for the day, subtracting negative numbers. Um, another way of saying subtracting is to find the difference. Look for that word um, as you subtract. So the difference would be subtraction. So when we have a question like this, 7 minus 5, we're asked to find the difference. That's just asking us to subtract. So we can go ahead and subtract 7 minus 5 is 2. Now, I'm not trying to insult your intelligence by putting up a question that's like this. I just want to start off kind of making everyone feel pretty confident that we're capable of subtracting because we're going to start doing some things that are a little bit tougher than that in just a moment. All right, that moment has come. This one here is when we're asked to add numbers. Another word for adding numbers is to find the sum. If we're asked to find the sum of 7 plus negative 5, what that's asking us to do really is the same thing as what we did before, 7 minus 5. We talked about that in the adding integers lesson. But if you're asked to add a negative, it's the same as subtracting 7 minus 5, which is still equal to 2. Don't worry, I will have different numbers throughout this lesson. All right, just want to be sure that we're clear on those two things before we get into subtracting negatives. Subtracting negatives is when things start to get a little bit hairy. What do we do with 9 minus negative 2? We've got subtracting a negative. I like to think of subtracting a negative as taking away a negative. Just like if someone were to take away all of my credit card debt. I'd be happy, right? If someone were to take away my student loans, I'd be happy. My student loans are a negative. I'm taking away a negative, so that is going to be a positive. So in other words, when we subtract a negative, it's actually a positive. We're adding on. So we can think of it as subtracting a negative or taking away a negative, or we can think of it as uh, adding and rewrite the equation so that we're saying, 9 plus 2, which everybody knows is 12. I mean 11. I mean 13. It's something like that. It's 11. 9 plus 2 is definitely 11. All right. So when you have a double negative, you remove that negative, turn it into a positive, and just add. Pretty straightforward. All right. We're ready to move on to something even more wonderful. The triple negative. A triple negative is when you have a negative number minus another negative number. Now, when I see something like this, I say to myself, Mr. Buffington, you need to simplify. So I try and simplify this as quickly as I can. Minus a negative. Remember, we just said that's positive, so why not switch it to being positive? So now I have negative 8 plus 4 instead of minus negative 4. That seems a lot easier to me. So min negative 8 plus 4. And then, as we learned in the previous lesson, negative 8 plus 4, you can switch these around because you're adding them. So instead of saying negative 8 plus 4, we can say 4 minus 8. As long as that negative symbol goes with the 8, we can switch their position to being in front or behind. Because addition, when we're adding, that is commutative. So we can switch them back and forth. So 4 minus 8, and 4 minus 8 is negative 4. So we've gone from a triple negative, pretty complicated statement here, to simplifying it one way, simplifying it again, and then we're able to get a pretty clear answer. All right, now we are going to work with some variables. a minus b minus c. I'm going to make A a negative number, B a negative number, and C is a positive number. To make this a little bit more simple, I like to use colors. So A will be red. A is equal to negative 5. So everywhere I see A, I'm going to substitute the value of negative 5. So it becomes negative 5 minus B. B is negative 2, so I have minus negative 2. And then minus C which is a positive 5. So first step is substituting. And this is where a lot of mistakes get made. Using color coding or highlighters tend to help so we can make sure we get the numbers in the right place. And then we simplify a little bit. I'm going to get rid of the colors when we simplify, but colors are helpful for getting it set up properly. So let's go ahead and simplify. 
neg minus negative 2 is the same as plus 2. We talked about that in the last one. So now I have negative 5 plus 2 minus 5. Negative 5 plus 2 will give us a negative 3. And negative 3 minus 5 gives us negative 8. So in other words, it would be like starting at negative 3 and subtracting 5 more. All right, I owe $3. Now I know I owe another five, so I owe a total of eight, a negative eight dollars. All right, or I'm subtracting eight. And so that's how things happen when we're throwing in variables. So we've talked about subtracting, regular subtracting, adding a negative number, which is the same as subtracting. When we have minus a negative number, which gets switched to being positive, and then throwing in variables where we just basically make sure we substitute correctly and then use all those rules that we've learned. If you'd like some more practice, some more examples, there is a video that I put together on adding and subtracting negatives. It's a good quick eight minute review of both adding and subtracting when working with negative numbers. Have a wonderful day.